What's going on guys? Today is day two of our Great Ocean Road Trip. I'm here with JC's World and Cody Comerford today and we've got a lot planned. Obviously yesterday we tried to do the 12 Apostles, that didn't go to plan so now we're hitting up Beach Forest and doing all the waterfalls as well. So we've got Beach Forest, we've got Erskine Falls, Hoopton Falls, I'm super excited. Let's get it. Yeah. There's a lot of fog like down in the valley there. Man that looks sick. Look at the lighting on the back. See, that's Whoa. it, that's the, I don't want to be at the front. <laughs> you have to be at the front, oh, bro. You gotta be, you're just taking all the B-roll, you know? I want the soft B-roll, I don't want to get in your way. I haven't been to a waterfall since Bali. Three hours drive this morning. And we made it to this fight. Whoa, yeah! I think the idea is we are gonna jump over this fence here, get a better angle than what everyone else does when they shoot here. And we're gonna try and get a lot closer up to the waterfall as well, because this thing is insane. We're not driving three hours just to get some shot from the lookout. We've got to get the best stuff. So Hoopton Falls was really sick. We just made it to the beach forest, which has got these awesome California redwoods, which I'm about to walk into. It's really good coming on a weekday because like no one's here. There's like two cars here. I don't see anyone in this forest bit. There's a lot of really cool angles here because the trees are so tall. But I'm gonna get a shot of Cody that's just walked out into the log now. We're gonna send it fast. All right. <laughs> Careful boys. <laughs> Can't wait to eat you. <laughs> I knew it was coming. At least finish his... I saw the dirt. I'm like, this is slippery. There's a better log to stand on that goes across the river with all the ferns in the background. I really want Cody to stand on that, but I don't know if he's game enough to do so. Hey, do you reckon you can stand on the other one? Yeah. One of you two? Please do Yeah, stop there, stop there. Fuck yeah. They're sick. Woo! Who's that? So we've arrived at Erskine Falls, or Erskine Falls, I don't actually know how you pronounce it properly. There's awesome shots you get from this one. Wow, and it's a lot taller than the Hooptown Falls. <laughs> Come on, get it out, you vlog this way. Or vlog? We're all vlog. Here, Not know. bad. All doing it. All yeah. in the vlog. Forgot the, forgot the tripod. <laughs> All good though. Wait, where's your mic? <laughs> oh wait, he did it. I'm about to start recording the next piece. Just to get back here. We have to cross up here where these people are standing. Jump across the rocks. Come up through the ferns here. Then back up onto this rock. And then walk along up into that bush loop. Just to get up next to the waterfall. I was watching Jacob where he's going. He looks pretty sturdy. Pretty good? It's not that bad. All right. That's everything. See that rock? Yeah. That, that rock is like perfectly centered. I can go stand over there like, like a big thing. Where, yeah. where, the where he is now, just there. Yeah. Close to that as you can get. So we had the idea of uh, going to that waterfall up until the point we saw it took like 40 minutes to get there. It's pretty much peaking on gold an hour right now. Uh, yeah, and it also looks like this, uh, which we didn't realize we thought it was a different waterfall. But this like view down here, this is the Great Ocean Road. So 
we're gonna send up our drones and get hopefully a couple of like shots with the road like winding through the mountainside and also obviously get some shots of surfers or whatever that's here Just before I go through the photos, I thought I'd give you an update about what's going on here in Melbourne. We just finished our stage four restrictions and I actually shot this video back in July of this year. So it's been four months since then and we're just coming on the back of 12 days with no cases in Melbourne. And that's really exciting because our restrictions are starting to drop now and I am able to travel more than five kilometers. I'll start off with the photos from Hoopton Falls. I mean, that location is so diverse uh, when you get down to the platform and actually look at the waterfall, it goes through this like tunnel of trees and then the waterfall is just there and it's, it's huge. We decided to jump over the fence, get a little bit closer to the waterfall. I'm so glad we did. I've got this shot of Jacob standing up at the waterfall looking up at it and I used a slow shutter speed to really show the movement of the water and how fast it was coming down. There were some other cool concepts that you could get at that location too. There was a couple of trees that had fallen across the track and I got down low to the ground behind a couple of trees to shoot Jacob walking through that kind of tunnel that it had created. And there was also another one where a tree had bowed over across where Jacob was shooting. And I got a third person point of view of him actually taking a photo of that waterfall, but having him out of focus. And I think that was really effective. So the next location that we visited was the beach forest. And that has a lot of California redwoods that have been planted there. And they're so much bigger than the ones in the Warburton forest that I've been to. That's just near my house. I got this first shot of Jacob walking down next to the riverbank. It's got all the greens, all the ferns in the background. I mean, the image that I shot, you can either go very desaturated like this, or you can bump up the saturation a little bit. It's really up to you on how you want to edit it. It looks really good either way. You can get some great look up shots as well of the trees. I mean, it looks really good if you're standing in the middle and you've got all these trunks shooting up around you. Why I love the beach forest is these shots of Jacob actually walking through the trees. It's a really good image because you can't see the tops of the trees. It's just the trunks. There's another shot of um, Cody walking through the trees the opposite way. I don't like that image as much because you can see a lot of the greenery at the top compared to the one of Jacob where it's there's really no green whatsoever. As you walk along the river bank, you come to this location where a tree had fallen across the river. So this shot of Cody standing on the log looks awesome. There's some other photographers that have also shot here like North Borders, he actually brought a flare there. I didn't do it because, you know, it's already been done. You don't want to copy other photographers. The last location that we went to was Erskine Falls and you can get some great images there as well. It's really different to Hoopton. It is quite hard to shoot, especially with how tall the waterfall is. I mean, it's, it's awesome if you go in there just for an Instagram story or for a TikTok or something like that. But with how tall the waterfall is, you really have to stand pretty far back to get an awesome shot. The other thing you can do is try and crouch down really low behind the model. So having someone trying to reach for something looks cool having a model just looking towards the distance or looking at something looks great thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video today make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already as you can see behind me i've been working very hard on my website over the last couple of months and i'll be able to release my presets and my prints on there in a few weeks hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you on the next video I'm gonna send it